Hello and welcome to Juno New Origins New Playthrough. I'm your host Grumforks and uh, I've been asked a lot to play this game uh, by various parts of my community so I decided why not let's give it a go. I have been mostly playing KSP because it's near and dear to me but then again I think this would be fun and I'm playing career mode with the stock loadout except I'm using the parallax mod as currently provided. Okay so we're going into the Start, hello, welcome to the tech tree. I guess this is the onboarding tutorial to figure out how the uh, how the tech tree works. And I do really like the presentation, although it does Juno doesn't have a visual and distinct and wacky look that the Kerbal Space Program does. I found I played it a bit and I found it quite interesting and actually very entertaining. So I'm gonna go with the route of the backyard scientist, of course, because we are launching rockets. I'm not that crazy in terms of learning how to you know drive uh, vehicles yet i'm gonna get there and buck marshall hello mr buck i hope you have a lot more bucks for me so here are we just reviewing the contracts the fulfilled milestones and obviously the exploration tab i only later realized that those will be bringing me some of extra um uh, technical tech tree points for researching so without further ado let's go into the tutorial uh, I honestly guys the first time I actually played this game I played it on my phone and actually it is kind of fun I played it on an iPhone and although the controls are a little bit fiddly there here They feel much more responsive and good. So I was actually very pleasantly surprised by it anyway, I'm just now constructing the rocket and Guys, for your information, I will have building, let's say, somewhat accelerated, so like, you know, 30-40% a little bit accelerated, just so you don't get bored, but uh, we still see what's going on, etc. So here I'm just adjusting the grid fins, or, sorry, not the grid fins, but the fins, and then I'm gonna be putting them into the radial symmetry mode there we go this is our first rocket and i believe what we need to is add some gyros because gyros need of course we need to have a control authority over our rocket um i can tell you by playing with it it's very similar to the kerbal space program and i actually like it there are some improvements which i really enjoyed and some of the things that i'm really really missing anyway I'm gonna discuss it further down the playthrough, so take you know, take a cup of tea, sit back, enjoy, relax, and let's have fun with this. Anyway, I decided to go through the tutorial just to remind myself because when I was playing this, I was actually, you could call this playthrough noob, or you know, total noob starts uh, the Juno, so yeah, there we go. I'm just respecting what the tutorial is telling me to do, and of course we are going with a vertical shot. I did decide to play this game on an ultra wide because I'm really enjoying playing it on an ultra wide. It gives me a lot of n nice perspective. Do let me know if it works for you. I hope it does because really, I know playing in a window, it's not really that fun. <laughs> Honestly, that's what kept me from playing it. So I figured might as well do it, you know, ultra wide. And those of you that have widescreen TVs or monitors or, you know, even the phone in the laying position, you will actually see it quite nice. So hope it works for you. Anyway. We are pitching down and we are in our first, you know, sounding rockets era. So the first is vertical shot, go higher than 25 kilometer, which I think will do just fine. By the way, the launches have been accelerated roughly almost two times, 180% to be actually very frank, because I thought it takes quite a while. And uh, I mean, I don't want to drag you through the repeated launches too many times because it just doesn't make sense in my head. However, we did succeed in getting the altitude, 25 kilometers, and now we are just crashing down to the village. It says, time to touch down, no need to survive this one. And I don't intend to. Well, yes. Boink. There we go. We've got earned some more credits and hopefully some tech tree points. We have 40 tech tree points, so let's see which wonderful things we can unlock. Mm. By the way, this game actually works a little bit even reverse from the Kerbal Space Program, because... I only realized that after a couple of episodes here, I'm unlocking what I would like. For example, enabling map view, max act active crafts, etc. While unlocking is dictated by your contracts and what you want to have. So, 
for example, like max stages, interstage, new contracts, you want to decide what is it what you really want to unlock. We have 40 tech tree points, so I'm not going to unlock anything just yet because we have the FTS, flight termination system, as popularized by the SpaceX Starship, which actually... I didn't, couldn't say malfunction, it worked, but it wasn't enough, so you remember all of us watching in April, this April on the orbital, you know, Flight 1, when the Starship and Super Heavy went cartwheeling? Well, it took them a good 40 seconds to, you know, blow up, and the FTS job was it to do it immediately. Right, so... Once again, we're going to be try testing the FTS, so we're going to reach 30 kilometers above ground level, and then we're going to blow up the rocket. Essentially. That's what it says, and that's what I'm, we're going to do. By the way, this flight info on the right-hand side, it actually is very reminiscent to me to the Kerbal Engineer, so I'm actually quite familiar with the, what it says, and it's really handy for me to follow everything, because I'm still learning the controls and everything there so we have put the control disc and the moment we get over 30 there's gonna be a kaboom there we go click again and unpause bam bada boom okay there we go so then we go going sideways 30 kilometers i could do fireworks again but then again i do like these missions that are marked progression because i guess they would progress the narrative and my contracts further so i think i'm gonna go sideways with the 30k i'm actually pretty confident that i could do it even with this rocket as is so i'm gonna just hit launch and do it once again after all you like you like me doing repeating what can i tell you anyway this time we're going to go a little bit more aggressive in terms of, and by little I mean a lot, uh, aggressive with our turning angle, so because we really don't need to go too far, too, too high, but uh, rather to go far, so our angle is better that it's at a high angle. Okay, anyway, we are going up and our epilapsis is going to be at 55 kilometers, we're going to reach it rather soon, I'm thinking in 40 seconds. There we go. We're getting away from the village and I'm pretty sure we're going to make the 30 kilometer mark easy. It's the other ones like 500 kilometers that are much harder later on. This one is just, you know, easy peasy, just going on. It's just a matter of collecting a little bit of progression, tech points and whatnot. So we can unlock all the wonderful thing that awaits us. Okay, so there we go down and we are supposed to go boom because we don't need to survive that one. Okay, just make sure that you crash down. Surface velocity, 800 meters per second, almost Mach 2. Who wouldn't like to go, you know, supersonic directly into the ground? Which is nice, we actually managed to earn quite a decent hefty sum of cash. And then we have, going sideways, 100 kilometers. And for that we might want to, you know, jack up things by a little bit. So let's see, we have 50 tech points, so that means that we could do... We could do check your staging, we could do catch them all, those are for parachutes. Currently we don't have missions requiring, but staging, yes. I mean, if we're gonna go far, we do want to do staging. And it also unlocks new contracts, so I don't see why not. We have a total of 25, which we could use for some other, like Bird Wannabe, RC Enthusiast and others. But we're gonna be holding off just now. Mm. Alright, so going sideways, 100 kilometers. And then we have the wet rockets. Wet rockets is kind of hard. I tried it about and it's really not that easy. Okay, so when it comes to this, I think the rocket is good. It has potential, but I would like it to be a little bit bigger and heftier. So that's all there is to it. So let's see what we can do. Now, can we just move this section away by a little bit? Okay, come on, move, move. Okay, now what can we do? Let's see. Our thrust to weight is 2.81, so that's, you know, pretty hefty. Let's do another stage, shall we? Yeah, there we go. We're going to increase the radius. It, the rocket doesn't need to be too tall. I mean, for 100 kilometers, ultimately, you know, guys, I'm designing this for probably this plus the next one. So, might as well. So, how many thrusters are we going to put? Let's see one and then we're going to do symmetry if we go with the three. Starting thrust away would be 2.97, I guess. All right. Fins, can we copy and paste them bottom? No. 
Okay, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a brand new ones. Can we just, okay, attaching new fins. I don't care, it's simple enough to construct them, so no harm, no foul. Okay, place these, make them a little bit shorter, make them a little bit smaller, and then we'd put, I mean, radial four. I think it's good enough. No need to optimize those. Part properties, uh, staging, let's check our staging. First are the engines, then we have the interstage, and third we have the Goblin solid rocket motor. Simple yet effective. I'm thinking that's, that's good enough, and I'm gonna go launch it right away. Right, so, with that thing being said, hitting the gas, and let's go sideways. We do want to go at roughly a decent angle, start with 75, pitching down to 60, and after the staging, we want to be at roughly 50-ish angle. So we got to crash 100 kilometers away from the village. Shouldn't be too hard because the previous one was already crashing like 50-ish kilometers or more. So the second one with a little bit extra oomph and boost should have absolutely no problem. So I'm just kind of putting it downwards and let it do its thing. Stage burn time, it has 17 more seconds of thrust, and oh, we did do drew distance flying, we exceeded 10 kilometers, beautiful. Also, by smashing these records, you can earn some, you know, tech tree points, which I think it's actually quite nice. All right, so we're gonna be reaching apoapsis in two and a half minutes, apoapsis being 145, I hope that we'll be, we'll be breaking some records for that. Tier 3 record altitude exceeding 80 kilometers, that's nice, okay, beautiful. Shall we gain something for passing 100? No, we won't. 120 maybe, 140? Come on, give me some points. Okay, no, let's just then accelerate things and we did go over 100 kilometers away from the village, which is good enough. Let's just point the rocket downwards and hope it survives to be able to crash. Okay, yeah, uh, that actually very makes a lot of sense. Let's hope the rocket survives so it could crash. Nice job, Ground Forks. Really put that one right on the nose. Speaking of the nose, our nose cone is taking heat damage. Let's hope it doesn't blow before it crashes. Oh, look at me. You know, <laughs> I hope it doesn't blow before it crashes. Reminds me of, you know, that joke where you have the executioner saying you know, to the guy on the guillotine, mind your fingers, you know. Okay, let's see. Chemistry lover, rock, rocket engine sizes, no mentioned contracts. What's there not to love? Yeah, I'm thinking that this chemistry lover is really important. We have another 40. Enable map view, max active crafts 5, and max contracts offered 6. Yes, please. So I'm going to do the novice managers as well. Now then, that when, we have con when we have spent all of our tech tree points, let's go and earn some more. Going high. We should reach... Okay, easy, Buck Marshall going sideways, 500 kilometers, that's a lot harder. But going high would be easy, and we can actually build a... Aha, it is what I just did, two-stage rocket. Well, you know, might as well. Let's start the tutorial. So, we're gonna start with the same rocket, minus the nose cone. Okay, let's put this... Uh, oh, we have a contract and payload to deploy. Might as well. Right, then let's put this interstage. So basically we're doing what we did in the last case, but we're gonna do it all over again. Okay, this time we're gonna increase it, make it long-ish, play some rocket motors. I'm thinking like two, three, possibly two. I think it's gonna say radial two or three. Okay. Fair enough, and then we're gonna be placing the grid fins. This time it's gonna work with copying. Right click and drag the fin we added earlier to Cron. Aha, it's right click and drag. There we go. Aha, it wasn't as hard, I thought it would be harder. Okay, let's do a radial three symmetry. Good, we've got it. And then we have to check our staging just to make sure that we didn't mess up something. Engines are going first, interstage second, and the second stage, and the payload fairing. I'm actually thinking interstage and second stage engine, and then payload fairing base should be the third one, if I'm not mistaken correctly. Because, no, not, not interstage, ground forks, you do big doofus. Yeah. 
Well, we'll do need to do some adjustments, which I did off, off the camera, and then let's get ready to launch this sucker. <clears throat> All right. There we go. We have to get above the ground level, so I'm just pitching ever so gently. Just line up the blue triangle with a flashing yellow triangle. Oh boy. It really won't let me, huh? Tutorials are sometimes so hard. Okay, dokie, getting ready. Getting ready for the stage step. And hit it, maestro. There you go. Our rocket is engine is working. And it's still require me to do requiring me to angle not angle the craft. Well, I ultimately don't care. We're supposed to go above 80, our epoapsis is climbing, so I think we're actually on the good side. Oh, look at the moon back there. That's nice. Or is it Luna? I think it's Luna. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're gonna correct things now, so whatever. And I think as long as we get above 80, we should be deploying the payload and calling it a day, having a field day saying, yeah, everything works, beautiful, Co congratulations, the cha-ching. But that would actually bring us some extra, you know, cash to the flow, you know, to the piggy bank. All right. What is our altitude? It's 60. Okay, good enough. I mean, soon enough. I'm really enjoying the, the Juno. I'm actually surprised to say I'm enjoying it more than I think I would. Because for me, the game has to look beautiful and Kerbal just hit that mark a little bit better. But, you know... In the end, looks kind of good. Wait until rocket goes above 80 and then expose the probe. So shall we expose the probe? Yes, I think so. All right, there we go. Completed contract going high. Beautiful. All right, guys. But you know that what? I think it's a, this is a good place to leave it for the time being. So, you know, we're going to be continuing in the next episode with the light speed. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Grumforks and I'm going to see you in the next one.